Additional cannabis dispensaries and delivery services continue to open across New York State. And tonight we're also getting a first-hand look at how some of that marijuana is actually tested before it hits the shelves at state licensed shops. Well, two on your side's Rob Hackford is here with a behind-the-scenes look at a lab that tests those products. Hi there, Rob. Yeah, hi Scott and Mary Ellis. This story actually stemmed from a viewer question. Steve Barnett emailed us asking how cannabis products are being tested. And we can tell you two of those labs that are doing that work are right here in Western New York. Uh, they are two of 15. Biotrax in Cheektowaga is one of them. I contacted and saw their operation and wanted to share it with you. It's an independent lab licensed by New York State to test things like raw cannabis flour, vape cartridges, and other processed items that you don't smoke like these gummies. The steps for checking each product are similar, though different, depending on some state guidelines. For example, cannabis flour has to be between 5 and 15 percent moisture. So Biotrex checks that using a machine that heats up the bud to evaporate moisture, and then they measure the difference. Uh, the testing falls into two baskets as well. Compliance to state rules is the first one. The second involves working with cannabis growers and processors who are doing R&D and making sure they want to comply with state guidelines. Whether you're a cultivator trying to sell your whole flour to a dispensary or you're a processor that's making gummies or cartridges, all of that's going to funnel through one of the 15 labs in New York State before it hits dispensary shelves. Well, that testing also includes an important potency test, as Nichols put it. They have a machine that graphs out and provides a breakdown of the chemicals detected, like Delta-8 and Delta-9 THC, which provide different effects. Compliance also includes microbes, fungus, salmonella, E. coli, and other testing. Biotrex has worked with companies in the Hudson Valley, Syracuse, Rochester, but most of their work comes from growers and processors right here in western New York. They're also looking to expand their cannabis business because of the growth that they've seen in the space. On your side, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.